different tones. So every melody has notes in it that are either part of the chord or they're in between the notes of the chord. So for example, here's C, C, E, G, E, C. Those are all chord tones. If I'm singing a melody, C, D, E, F, G, F, E, F, E, D, C. The D and the F are little passing tones that connect the C to the E and the E to the G. So we're going to sing an exercise first that's all based on chord tones and then we're going to add non-chord tones or passing notes. So here we go. It sounds like this. C, E, G, E, C, E, G, C, E, A, E, C, E, A, and we're going to add non-chord tones to this exercise. In part two, we are going to add passing notes to our little exercise, okay? I'm also going to show you where the chords happen. So just in case you play the piano or you want to try this, this is your C chord. C, E, G. And then on the second line, we have an A minor chord and I'm playing it like this. C, E, A. And then on the third line, we have an F chord, C, F, A, going to a D minor chord, D, F, A, back down to a C chord, C, E, G, triad, okay? Then if you look at the treble clef, the melody, where those little asterisks are, are all the passing notes. So you could either leave them out, or you could sing them, or you could sing them by themselves. That'll train your ear to hear where they actually happen. Okay, let's try it once on the names of the notes. I'll play the chords. One, two, three, four. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C, D, E, F, G. something called open chords. What we just did were close chords. I'm going to play open chords. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five.
only because I tied it and it's eight beats at the end. All right, now there are two little asterisks where it says accented passing note, and that just means the passing note, F, E, D, C, it's happening on a strong beat. Let's try it one more time. I am going to play uh, other stuff and you can sing whatever you want on the names of the notes or the solfege, which I highly recommend because solfege helps us to train our ear for harmony. Uh, or you could do numbers, or you could play the chords, or you could just listen, and here we go. One, two, three, four. notes, chord tones, and non-chord tones.